Welcome to the latest edition of Career Videos by the Knowledge Academy. Our today's video is about the seven guiding principles and their respective benefits of ITIL 4. So without further ado, let's take a look at the agenda for this video. Initially, we will be going through what is ITIL 4. And then we will move on to see the seven guiding principles and the benefits. But without further wait, what is ITIL 4? Let's now examine what ITIL 4 is in reality. As an update to the ITIL 3, which was introduced in 2007, ITIL 4 was released. It aids businesses in adjusting to recent advancements in software development and IT. The main goal of ITIL 4 is to create an end-to-end -end management practice that converts demand into value. Now let's get to the main part, 7 guiding principles and their respective benefits. So without much more wait, let's get into further depths of the various 7 guiding principles and their respective benefits of ITIL which would help your IT career as well as your company's general well-being. The first guiding principle, focus on value. When we talk about value, it is not only in the context of finance, but also it motivates you to ponder about the UX or the user experience and the CX or the customer experience. You can expect better results only when you have conducted proper research on who is using your services and how these services creates value for them. The second guiding principle, start where you are. It is not required to start something from the start. Instead, you can consider improving on what you've been working currently on. In the pretext of a complete replacement, you do not have to build something new if you can avoid dumping the current project, as it can save you ample time and effort. The third guiding principle, progress iteratively with feedback. You must hold out against the temptation of doing all the things at once. This can be possible if you can organize the work structurally into manageable chunks of undertakings that needs to be completed and executed promptly. The fourth guiding principle, collaborate and promote visibility. If the complete team is updated concurrently on the relevant information, and has a brief idea about what is happening, it saves a lot of time and effort for everyone to collaborate seamlessly. The fifth guiding principle, think and work holistically. It is crucial to consider this point when working in a collaborative environment to confirm that your work does not affect any part of the organization and create any form of hindrance or disruption. The sixth guiding principle, keep it simple and practical. Rather than following the traditional conventions, it is better to follow the simple things which can be creating values. Unless you feel the complex steps are necessary for the solid reason, stop doing them. Avoid doing anything which is creating hindrance to the value. The seventh and the final guiding principle, optimize and automate. As we know, optimizing means making something functional and applicable. Before automating an activity, it should be optimized to a certain degree to utilize the resources to the best of their limits. Thank you for watching. Did this video inspire you to advance your career in IT service management? Then let our industry mentors guide you on your journey to becoming an IT service management professional. The Knowledge Academy is the world's largest training provider for courses such as ITIL 4 Foundation, Certified IT Service Manager CITSM, and many more. Visit our website to get details about our courses. Get in touch with our consultants. Inquire now.